Hello, welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. It's Gaming Friday. I'm Gary. And I am El Presidente. Welcome El Presidente to Tropico 6. Ah, well, good old Tropico. I am back in my hometown. Which Sorry, came that's out really in... racist. I don't think I should carry on. <laughs> no, not for the whole video. Please don't. <laughs> Which came out in March 2019. Developed by Limbic Entertainment. Um, and it was published by Calypso Media. Now, straight away, if you're a fan of the Tropical series, you're going to realise that Limbic Entertainment, they, they never made a Tropical game before. This is an entirely new development team really? for, for Tropico. Wow. Um, I believe that uh, three of the founders of Limbic Entertainment were uh, German game developers that worked on the Anno games, which is a series of of simulated world building games as well that some are, some are on space some are you know different time periods oh, okay um so yeah you know, it's there there are lots of different types of those of those games yeah, uh, yeah. but the anno games are other highly rated games within this genre um the uh, of course it's only available on pc at the moment but as we've we're near enough all the other tropical games yeah it will be coming to consoles later in 2019 i was going to say because i remember mainly watching you play the tropical games on the xbox i mean you yes. did uh, on the xbox 360 i think it's I, I played from tropical four, three onwards yeah yeah so this is my my uh third yeah but yeah, I've been I, I I've been watching you, and I'm currently in control of all this. So yes. if you're thinking, why is this going slow? It's because I'm reading. Yeah, <laughs> you've never played a tropical game before. Ian. No, I watch you, dude. I yeah. watch you. <laughs> <laughs> you watch me shack hunting. Yeah, <laughs> shacks. I go and look at the shacks. Uh, right. Okay. So okay. I'm, so I'm... this is a construction and management simulator. Yeah. Um, it's a Sim City in the Caribbean. Where you play as El Presidente yeah. uh, from the colonial era, through the Cold War, through the World Wars, and into the modern era. Um, there are some major changes uh, to, to the Tropical franchise and the fact that um, this time you have control of Archipelago, Archipelago uh, Islands. I always get that word. <laughs> oh, so different smaller islands. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, uh, now, all uh, the previous Tropical games were on one island. Yeah. Uh, now you have multiple islands uh, that you can build upon. Yeah. Now I will say I, I've completed 13 or uh, 12 or 13 of the 15 available missions in this game. Yeah. Um, and there's only been a couple of the missions that have been really difficult that have forced me to retry them. Which I, I found surprising because in the previous Tropical Games I completed every mission almost first time every time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but this one just seems to... Up the difficulty a little bit, or it's either that, or I'm I'm getting things wrong. Uh, but it, 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 it's it's pretty challenging. Now I know that there are people that play tropical games that just get them just for the sandbox mode. Yeah, you know they just you just want to have all the money, or you know you can set your own you know uh, starting yeah. finances. You can also adjust the difficulty of how many natural disasters are going to occur, or how often foreign superpowers are going to request you do certain things. So like for instance, on on this island, there is a volcano over there. Yeah. And every so often it might erupt, and of course, <laughs> volcano fiery balls will land down on your city, uh, and you yeah. better have fire departments to put them out. Yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah. Your buildings are going to burn. Yeah. Now, you know the gist of, of of most of the games is is to build a thriving economy, you know, in a lush tropical Caribbean setting. Yeah. This game is also filled with with zany characters just like previous tropical games penultimo who has been there for all the tropical yeah, games yeah i was gonna to say give, he give your assistance it's the years i remember from that guy. <laughs> of course the the, the the visuals change for a lot of the characters but penultimo's pretty much always been he's always been there and he's your faithful advisor yeah um and of course during this tutorial segment he's gonna be the one giving you the most advice so yeah. you're gonna be learning about the buildings and the controls. Well, that's good because I this this is perfect for me because I I watched you um, you know I I I, I watch you play and when you play your fingers are all friggin' all over the place. Things you are have just your shortcuts happening. on the controller. Yeah, the that's it. I I don't do shortcuts. <laughs> um, you know, but it, it's just amazing that like I'm I'm glad that this is what the sixth game and you know, yeah. they they've gone right okay let we're still keeping it free for people who've never played it before. You know, let's um, let let's see what we can do. So I sit through the tutorial, and in real time, I would probably be sitting there learning how all the work is, the cash flow, how many people there are. You know, and th that's the beauty of the tropical games. When I see when I see you playing it, it's like. 
they're all these individuals. Some people, yes. is that Raquel Gomez? Now, if you, if, you, if you click on that worker, if you left click on him, right. now you can actually see um, how old he is, yeah. and whether he was born on this island, or whether he immigrated over, <laughs> his wealth levels, how educated he is. But then you also have the options to bribe, kill, arrange accidents, arrest, <laughs> yeah. institutionalize, and put him in a mental home. But you also get to see his family tree. You get to see who his children are, yeah, who yeah. he's married to, who his parents are. Also, every individual, um, I want to say them, call them Sims, uh, you know, every Tropican that's on your island is, is animated and they have their, 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 their cycle. You know, they, they go to work. Yes. They go home. They go to restaurants, and as you see the animated character on screen, if you can yeah, zoom yeah, all the way I'm in, I'm gonna find one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Guy so you can follow him around, and you know, un unlike previous tropical games where it was like, yeah, you had characters wandering around your city, yeah, but it was like they would they would kind of be considered always at work, yeah, you know. Whereas now they will literally have times where they're going to work and where they go home. So when you were back on that pier and you saw most of the faces were greyed out, yeah. it was because none of the dock workers were actually there. Yeah. They were either gone home to rest or they'd gone to a restaurant to eat or yeah. to make themselves happy some some way. So I literally found, you know, as, a, as a tip for people playing this game, is that in previous games I didn't need that many Teamsters. Yeah. In this game I need lots and lots of Teamsters because half the time they're not there. They don't show up to work because they're <laughs> off doing something. Or it's either that or I haven't... The road system is so long, and they don't have access to cars, yeah. so they have to walk from the house to their work. Which can be in the middle can, of the jungle. Which can take three months. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait three months for you to get to work. So I'm going to need to build a bus station to make sure that workers get around where they need to as easy as possible. Yes. Uh, it's either that, or you're going to need to get require certain edicts. Or increase the you know the the wealth value of the family so that they can afford to to rent cars yeah. to get around the town. So you can need parking garages, and of course you build a parking garage which starts to generate crime. So then you're going to need to build police officers. But then building police officers impacts the liberty. The people don't feel <laughs> you know they feel safer, but they don't like the fact that there's all these military people going around. So you need to build entertainment, or you need to build newspapers or radios or TV stations in order to <laughs> let the people know that, you know, it's not a military-controlled area. Yeah, but, then you get, a lot. but then you get people getting really upset that you've not built any churches, so they start protesting. <laughs> yeah. But you're like, but people are already protesting because you haven't got enough hospitals, so you decide, I'm going to build some hospitals. Yeah. That really upsets those that are the religious factions, and they turn into rebels. Yeah. And they leave Tropico and go and hide in the woods. <laughs> and then unless you build military buildings, they're going to try and stage a coup. They're yeah. going to launch attacks at certain buildings. <laughs> While the volcano's going off. And if you've not defended your palace, your palace will be destroyed and it'll be game over before you know it. And that is provided you've kept your economy going and also not really upset the superpowers. Like, depending on which era you're in, yeah. whether it's uh, you know uh, the United Nations... European Union, America, Russia, China, yeah, you know, all the I, different superpowers. See, that's one of the things I always love as well, is the fact that, like, every now and again, like, Russia will say to you, hey, uh, can we um, drop some nukes? Oh, we, um, we require we, you to do nuclear testing we, for us. Yeah, we'd like to do some nuclear testing. Is that okay? And you go, well, you're going to pay me. So you go, okay. But because you've done that, the Americans go, hmm, <laughs> that wasn't very nice. So we're going to cut your funding. And you're like, oh, for yeah, fuck, you yeah. know? You, you very much know... What what I would say for for the most part with with this tropical is get your economy going first, then then go and worry about the actual mission objectives. There is one mission that I'm stuck on at the moment, and it's called the referendum. Right. And it, I've literally got until the year two thousand, when the Mayan calendar ends. Yeah. And I need to have you know achieved uh, an average happiness of seventy percent or above. Yeah. And I also need four of like the eight factions to also be at. 70% or above support and you've only got 20 years in which to do it in and I just can't I just can't do it you can't do it there are certain challenges where it's like you're not allowed to build a single house for the entire mission no houses so people will only live in shacks and so you've got to try and keep the people happy Whilst you have these, you know, these handicaps, these yes. stipulations that are forced upon you. <gasps> Man, I love shack hunting. <laughs> yes, yeah, I used to go around and like see shacks, demolish, yeah, demolish, like, demolish. There's three shacks there. Oh my god, why are they? Why are they doing that? Get them up, come out there. Yeah. yeah, I can see shacks here now already. Yeah, well, I, I'm kind so of. So you're gonna need to build some housing. Yeah, I, well, this is it. I mean, he gave me tasks and said, "Look, you've got." So yeah, you've two got two or five tasks. So if you do click on it. 
Okay, so you've... complete all tutorial tasks. Okay, so are... your other tasks, and I've got to export fifty gold. So, so yeah. So what you want to do now, if you click on the bottom here, and if we go around the bottom, in yeah. the bottom left, you've got your task overview. If you click uh, that, it yes. tells you what all your tasks are. Right. At the explanation marks at the top, you can go between the two. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the next one is the one you're going to be using the most is, is building. Yeah. So if you I've go, just, I've just built the road because so be, you've got a road going to a mine. Going, yeah, and obviously I'm assuming now that the mine now it's connected to the road. If you click on gold. the mine, you'll be able to see how many workers it has. Yeah. Uh, so it's got you know uh, three, three, five workers. Uh, yeah. Three of them are currently working. Uh, also, with the mine, you can go across the tabs at the top to see uh, yeah. uh, how you know its statistics, and then the next one is is your upgrades. Yeah. Oh, so okay. you can actually uh, decrease the risk of the building catching fire. It costs yeah. you $750. Uh, so if you also go back to the very left one as well, this one? the settings, where you've got almost human protocol, the work yeah. mode, you can yeah. also change that as well to make it uh, yeah, mm, increase yeah. the efficiency, cost more. There's, there's basically lots of yeah, yeah. fine-tuning every different type of building. See, what I was waiting for then, because obviously he said I needed to transport gold, I knew that the trucks were coming out to the boat, but the boat had already left. Yeah. So, so the gold was just, just sitting there waiting for the boat to come, come back. back so yes, yeah. Look, a boat, it looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. Oh, <laughs> oh I've got to build a tavern. See, yeah. Yeah, no, this is the thing. Like I said, this is just a tutorial level. And so all yeah. of this, once you learn all of this, you'll start to make... You'll make your tropico. Yes. You know, maybe you want everybody that, living on shacks so you can save money on housing. But you Well, know, no, because you really don't want people being upset. Yeah. Well, because people will not vote for El Presidente in the next coming election if you've not built them houses. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you've got to keep them happy. Uh, now, what I do like with this one as well, you get a little short shortcut on the on the right hand side where it tells you how to rotate the camera yeah. around. It lets you know that if you hold the shift button, you can mass build buildings. So sometimes when I want to build bunk houses, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can bring it up for me if you want to go to construction, uh, construction, and then go to houses. I don't know if it's going to let you build any right now. Yeah, so it's good to go to a bunk house. Yeah. yeah, and then it says on the on the right hand side, hold. Um, uh, start multiple construction. Yeah, so hold the shift button. Hold the shift button. Which is that one? No, that's this one here. That one there? Yeah, and then if you drop it, you can... Where you know, can I drop it? Not... You can also, at this point, hold the control button and zoom out as well, so that it's easier for you to uh, to see on the map exactly where you want it uh, to go, yeah, yeah. and then scroll. Oh, no, that's the control button. It. Not the shift button, the control button. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's just a lot. So it just makes it easier for you to just you know, move the camera around whilst you're trying to build yeah. something in place. I mean, obviously in the tutorial, I think it's, it's set to saying, look, no, you can't do bunk houses at the moment. We have specific things yes, we want yeah, you to do. So, not yeah, not within the Disney area, which, which is fine, but... The, I always loved that as well when I was watching you play that there were the, like there were areas where it would say look you can't build a bunkhouse on top of this mountain yes, you know yeah, it's out yeah. of action you can build on these trees but you kind of need to cut the trees down first you know well, you no, can we, establish we, the land in a way that for for this game if you want to build on top of the trees on top of the, the forest you plant a building there the trees is instantly demolished ah oh, right but yeah. what you will be doing is adding pollution to the area which yeah. of course will piss off the environmentalists yeah um so but you can also build the lumber mills and also pay for upgrades in which they will plant more trees than they cut down ah um, but then you'll build more lumber mills and cut trees down then you'll uh, you'll need to build a place to take the planks yeah. to turn it into either ships or to turn it into furniture and depending on which era you're in as you go through it depends on how your industry changes yeah right build a tannery right where do you want me? oh you want it over here okay. now one of the great things yeah you might need to turn the building around because i think it's I oh, tell you, it's you know the front of it's coming straight onto the shack, so you might need to build more road, or demolish the shack, or demolish the shack. But yeah. I think you'll still probably need to build more road as well because uh, of it's where it's coming out. Okay, uh, yeah, right. Okay, well I'll wait until it build first, find out where the entrance is. Sure. So yeah, well that was the thing. I saw it going down, and then it just kind of sat perfectly in that grid yeah. you know and i'm like oh well okay that must be perfect because it would otherwise tell me look the entrance is yeah yeah and, and it will also tell you if it's not connected to the road you'll get a, a symbol come up above the building like the construction one that's there now yeah it'll be replaced with a ro broken road yeah symbol. 
I mean, this. I remember back in the day, you know, games like Theme Park, games like Theme Hospital, Sim City, yeah. Sim City, you know, Sim Ant, a fucking Sim the World. Theme Park one was one of my favorites. You know, the fact that there's gotten to a point now, like, well, like we were talking ages ago about the Jurassic Park yes, game, yeah, which yeah. is very much the same, but you just have dinosaurs. But yeah, I always... it, it all comes down to, to the visuals. Uh, you know, it, it's the flavor. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The, the Caribbean with this one, with its with its uh, with the soundtrack that it has. Yeah, the music in the background, with the and also with the humor of the characters and the dialogue. I mean, there's not that much of it, but it's still very funny. Yeah, there's lots of little bits that will make you laugh throughout the game, and it just you know the sense of humor of the writers is, is fantastic. Well, uh, that's what I want to say though. If I'm with a game like this, with these real-time strategy games, when I watch, when you watch somebody who's who's uh, quite experienced with it, like I've done with Gary in the past, you know, I could happily just let three hours go by just, just sitting watching by just world sitting watching world. you. But what what I don't what I think works as well. I mean, I know it's just it, it's probably just us because we're good friends. But it's like, you know, I'll be sat there and I'll be like, oh, dude, that. That, that shack's just appeared over there and you're like oh fuck I didn't see that because you you were trying to micromanage like three or five other objectives I'm trying to you know just try and make sure that the pollution ranking goes down or that the yeah. whole, you know it's like I've built new houses why are they living in shacks oh it's because their jobs are there yeah. that's why I need to build the houses over here instead now but you, when you're playing it yeah you might miss certain things so yeah having a, a backseat gamer as well observing yeah but <laughs> it's not boring because like I would sit there and watch you watch you uh, in your mind, you're trying to micromanage, and these people are just doing their own little things. And then uh, Percival, or whatever his name is, would pop up again. An ultimate. <laughs> yeah, he'll pop up again and go, Ah, oh, Presidente, I've got these two choices. You can only make one of them. And you look at me like, oh, uh, What do I do? Yeah, yeah, what do I do? Quite, quite often, you will get. Um, I don't know if you can click on the almanac down the bottom. It's, uh, um, that one. Uh, the almanac. almanac. Yeah. There we go. So if you see in the factions, if you if you click on one of the factions, yeah, just click uh, on one of militarist. them. Militarist. Yeah. So right now you've only got four factions to worry about: capitalists, religious, militarists, and communists. Yeah. Later on, you will have four more factions turn up, and they'll all be vying to get your approval. Yeah. And you'll need to balance all of them, otherwise you'll end up with worker strikes or rebellions. Uh, which, yeah, which is then, you know, you're looking at game over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's uh, the thing you want to avoid. And so often or not, you will have, you know, a religious message pop up saying, please build or P please put this edict into play. Yeah. And you'll be like, well, no, I'm not going to do that because it's going to really upset the capitalists. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you're like, well, I'm going to have to do it and then try and figure out a way to help the capitalists. Sometimes you will have it pop up where both the religious and the militarists will pop up at the same time. I was going to say, I've seen that and, in the party. And it's like, game. you have to upset one of them and <laughs> yeah. promise the other. Yeah, yeah. And that's when it gets really frustrating. But but it's not it's not like a game over thing. Like I suppose in both of them, if if once if somebody comes to you with one choice, one says build a church, the other one says build a barracks. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna build one of them. So and it's, it's not connected. Yeah, it's still gonna go. Uh, right. So I'm gonna do. Oh, I'll bring that up. Uh, bring it back. So I need a road. Yeah. Go to there. Where is the entrance? There. there. Yeah. Now you can't with the road. You can't build one space at a time. You need to build a long road. Oh right. So okay. there you go. There we go. Right. That's why it wouldn't go earlier. Yes. Um. And I think is that it? Yeah. Yeah. That's everything there's connected. Wow. Unless you want to build more roads. No. No. That's fine. I just it, it's when it because uh, you have to click on something um to kind of get the. You need to right click Michael. off because you're still on road. Building. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Left click. Right click. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a joypad, right? Okay, so uh, he's uh, a box. What is the empty box? The mean? box means that if you click on the building now, yeah, okay, you can see that it takes in hides and it's and it produces leather. Right. Right now it has no hides, so okay. it can't make any leather. Yeah. So there's an empty box saying it's got no supplies. So that so oh uh, so that's why it's next but to the cows. But if you click on this building here, yeah, and that is producing meat and hides. Ah, so they go out, put it next door. Yes. They turn now the ones that will be doing all of this work is your teamsters. Your teamsters will be taking stuff from farms. Yeah. To to groceries or to uh, to to the docks to sell. Yeah. Uh, and so on and so on. Now, the Teamsters are going to be doing the backbone of all your work. Now, if you click on the Teamsters office, which is that build, blue building just there, yeah, you can see that's all your Teamsters. I don't know if you can upgrade. I don't know if the game will allow you to at the moment. Uh, but yeah, you can add the second shift, which adds six more job positions. Yeah. So yeah, if you left click, you upgrade the building. I 
think oh. so. Oh. He would get the hang of it. Where's in order? Yeah, because I completed the yeah, quest. Yeah, you completed the quest now. It's all about stuff. Build stuff to make stuff. Build stuff to move stuff. And build stuff to export stuff so you can stuff so your pockets So that you can move into money. the next age and make move the industry <laughs> I just, forward. I just love how they got stuff. Yeah. Like, one, two, three, exactly. four. That's right. what I mean about the humour of the writing. Yeah, you just relate to it because that's how we talk. We, yeah. like, we need stuff for stuff. Okay. <laughs> it is the tropical treasury that is really getting stuff. We <laughs> wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you want? Okay, more tasks. Making money is good, but you know what is better? Making more, more money. Yep, I'll agree with that. Sell things abroad, complete all tutorial tasks. And yeah, this is, like I said, this is just the opening. If you could get yeah. through this and, and be happy about it, you're like a, you like your real time strategies, you, um, you, Sign contract, yes. Oh, uh, well, I, I, well, I was just clicking okay, arrows. Yeah, yeah. They were they were telling me where to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so th this is where you know if you click on the on the left, what I like to do is click on the the, the that icon one. just above. Yeah, if you click on that one. It sorts everything by export and import. So what you're looking at here is a list of all your all the exports that the world is is after. Yeah. And the percentages next to it. If you, if it's green, yeah. it's going to be good. You're going to be making a profit. Bananas. And that there's for import. That's how much extra they're charging on top of base price for it. So if you want in bananas, you're going to be paying plus forty percent interest on but on bananas. Yeah. But you know you might have a challenge, which means you need bananas. Yeah. Yeah. Up so the you, wazoo. Yes. Yeah, so you so, pay them out of fucking ass for them. Yeah. Because you might have an island that has no no um, no natural oil resource, and you need to build cars yeah. or whatever. So you need to import oil or import port coal in order to run your factories or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that's when it comes that that's the missions and that's the sort of the stipulations. Uh, cat, ranch where rattle uh, cattle sorry. Cattle value is between ninety to hundred. Ooh. Connect the cattle ranch to a road. Right. Okay. Now that's because when you're building your plantations like mm. corn, sugar, tobacco, coffee, yeah. you need to make sure you're building them in the right place. So if you if you zoom out the map a little bit. Yeah. No, 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 you no. need to control. And control. Be, yeah. yeah. Right. Now you can see. Yeah. Oh, too far. You can see. Obviously, you, you're getting an overlay. Now, if you scroll down between cattle, sheep, and crocodile, etc., you can see that the the color underneath changes on right. the map. Ah. So yeah. you know the 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 big green areas, really yeah. good places to plant those those resources. Yeah. Same for the farms. You know. Red, not so good. Red, yeah, you're not really going to grow very much there. No, no, no. Um, so they're right. So they want me to get cattle. So yeah. I should probably. I can give them a beachside resort. There we go. And then I need a road yep. to, to, to link it all it. up so that your teamsters can get there, so that the farmers can get there. Yeah, yeah. and then like that. That's that. That's a horribly crooked road. Hey! <laughs> now I was going to say is that, you know, I, I sometimes struggle to watch other people play this game because I'm just like, what are you doing? Like you're just building this horrible hodgepodge of, of, of a settlement of a town. It's like you're one of those guys who needs it all. OCD in a block. Yeah, don't you yep. need you need to build your grids, and you need to Man. you need to make sure you've got your church. You need to make sure you've got your clinic. You need to make sure you've got your houses. Shit can be moved if it's not well done. <laughs> That's a good place for it to be. But it's going to cost you to move it though, and you don't want to spend the extra cost. You want to you want to be looking at your island and then starting to think, okay, living area, farmland, resort, you know, tourist area. You know, no, you need no to tourists. Mm. Wow, <laughs> you yeah. need tourists. You yeah. fucking need tourists. Certain missions, of course, are going to force you to have massive tourism. Yeah. Uh, but that, you know, that's the beauty of this game is that you get to build your Tropican city the way you want it. It looks the way you've built it. Yeah. You know, and and if you've not built it, you know, to an extent correctly, you're just going to be making massive problems for yourself later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I used to do it when I was playing uh, Dawn of War. You know, real time strategy games. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. yeah, efficiently with stuff like that, but fuck it, fuck that. The fucking roads connected. Fuck it. <laughs> well, the thing is, with the road being connected that way, you're limiting your building options around the road. Hey, did you want to play? No, I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I have played this game enough. I have currently, since this game's release, I've put sixty hours into the game already, <laughs> um, and I so I have three, three or four missions left to complete before I'm done. Yeah, and then I get to play around in sandbox mode. This game has multiplayer. Wow! This really? game has multiplayer versus and multiplayer cooperative. Oh my god! So that you can literally just build a sandbox and just play, and two of you will just build your own, your own, you know, thriving tropical areas. Wow! Uh, which is great. Now, thankfully, the, well, the, I will say this game on its release was filled with bugs. 
Yeah. The game was also delayed by like four or six months even because they were squashing bugs. Uh, so that it was in beta for quite a while. Sorry, I've got to fire Ruben. You've got to... I've oh. got to fire him. Oh, the game's telling you to fire someone. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, where do I go to fire him? Do you know who he is? Uh, this is him? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's him. Yeah. So go to his uh, place of work. Which is this place. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you click on the building He's again, now go to him. Yeah. And then right oh, click, right fire. Click. He's Boom. been fired. Yeah, and then <laughs> close slot because that's what they wanted me to do. Okay, and that's your challenge complete. Yeah, Very that's good. my challenge. challenge. I, but that's it. I've just fired that guy. Yeah. Fuck him. Now he's going to have to go find another job. <laughs> he's going to go find another job. We, we need more farm there. You might need to go and buy, build a high school and then a college so yeah. that you can get educated citizens. And send them away. Instead of importing them from around yeah. the world because that upsets you know, native tropicans <laughs> when you give away high paying jobs to outsiders. <laughs> but they but they they're more educated. They work better. Uh set humane exploit. Oh, yeah, what at the farm? I think that was at the um yes. No yeah. humane exploit. Okie dokie. I mean some of the decision making you make, you go, Am I supposed to be doing that? But you could be a ruthless dictator. You can be a ruthless dictator. I I, I had a, I had a, like four prisons on one of my islands. Yeah. And I filled it with convicts. You know, <laughs> I I enacted the convict labour so that basically America was sending me all of its criminals. I'm like, great, they can go in the prisons and go to work for me. They're making me more money in the prisons than they were in normal industry. <laughs> Yeah. So, how how did you find that? Ian? Did you, did that tutorial make you want to play some? You more? know, it's always made me want to play, mate. I mean, um, when when I like I said, whenever I watch you play, I kind of always wanted to play it, but I never had the time to sit down and. Really, it's a time eater. It's sure. a time eater. Uh, you need to concentrate. You can't just fly through it like. Like, like with this, I need to read this, even though it's a tutorial thing, I need to read all of it before I hit accept, because yeah. if, it, because if you after, miss something, yeah. after this, there will be no arrows telling me where to go. Correct. You know, and if I don't know where all the economy stuff, or the building options, if I don't know, like, you can overlay these and work out all these, but edicts, research, raids, yep. trade, you know, you need to kind of understand that. So, and the game, as you're playing through, through the tutorials and then through some of the missions, you know, each one of these becomes more available to you. You start figuring out what everything does. Yeah. Obviously, if you go just do a quickly a quick overview, you've got all those building types. All right. Yeah. You've got the overlays. So that that's all your buildings. Yeah. Next, you know, the next one over uh, from is, there is your almanac. Almanac, yeah. which lets you know your overall happiness, how many homeless people you've got, how many people are unemployed. Yeah. Rebel threats. And your absolutely. allies. Uh, you know, and I think everything is is broken down and very easy to read on the screen it's not yeah, overly yeah. complicated yeah now yeah these are your uh your your edicts. your edicts so the, these are things that you can you know you can pay for and influence and alter your 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 civilization if you will yeah yeah throughout the four different eras of the game nice nice uh so yeah then you have your research so this is how you research those edicts yeah as well as the upgrades for all the different building types like free wheels that if you research that that's an edict that you can then employ which then means even the poor people can use cars yeah everybody's got a car so yes, everyone but the thing is you're it. going to be paying for them using the cars for the rest of the game yeah 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 so it's like you've got to make sure you've got the money in order to do it but as long as they get the work that's yeah. absolutely fine raids is a fun part now raids is when you build pirates your commando garrison your spy academy and your cyber operation center <laughs> now if you click on like the pirate symbol if you go to the very top oh yeah yeah, on, yeah yeah click on there you can for instance send your pirates off to go and steal coffee and yeah. gold and corn you can go and rescue survivors <laughs> at sea which basically gives them abduct, rescue, abduct yeah. people yeah rescue educated people but you can sea. also go and heist stonehenge you go and steal Stonehenge. <laughs> it's basically the way's game, the game's way of uh, of having national monuments. So you can go and steal the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. You can go and steal the Statue the of Liberty. Mahal, the yeah. Tower, yeah. And each one of those gives you massive bonuses. But getting each one of those is uh, is a challenge of, of itself. <laughs> That's a war star right there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else we got down there? Uh, so so got trade, trade we went yeah. through earlier. Constitution. Yeah. Now, These are all your. Uh, government or yeah so that's you when you pass. can go you know no gay marriages you know or, oh, yeah. or no no contraception yeah. like everyone start having kids no military yeah you yeah. know that's just or military can only be super intelligent people so that your average joe person can't just sign up to the military wow yeah. yeah there's lots of little things to micromanage and play with 
like voting rights. Like only the super wealthy get to vote. Oh. You know, it's like how do you want to run your tropical island? Yeah. What sort of dictator are you? Yeah. Are I... you going to have spy drones on every corner of the streets? Yeah. What sort of world do you want to you live in? You may do. You may do. I mean, obviously, this is your diplomacy between the two. Yeah. Two at the moment, countries. it's only the two superpowers you're up against. Later yeah. on, lots of superpowers yeah. coming at you. The broker, he's new for me. I think to, to Tropical. I don't remember him in the previous one. No, no, I don't remember him. Either. But he's a way for you to make the 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 Swiss money, the money on the side, the money that you put away for a rainy day. I was going to say because yeah, you get emergency funding, don't you, that you can dip into in ca- if things start to go really bad. Of, yes. Yeah. Uh, and so he will occasionally offer you ways to, you know, these are the things that you can pay for from your Swiss bank account. Yeah. Uh, convincing talk is my absolute favorite because when somebody turns up and says, we want you to build a roller coaster and that will make us really happy. I go, yeah, OK, I'll build it. And then I buy convincing talk and tell them you don't really need a roller coaster. <laughs> and then that completes the mission and they still give you the bonus as if you had Built the roller coaster. And this is what is wrong with the world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Tropico. Yes. <laughs> so I absolutely recommend Tropico 6. It had some issues, it's had some bugs. Yeah. It still kind of does. The biggest bug that upset me was that you know you invest three hours into one island. Yeah. You haven't quite finished the story yet, but you've got to go out. Like it's been three fucking hours. You haven't done it yet. <laughs> so you saved the game. You know, you, your happiness is like at eighty percent. Yeah. You save the game and you come away. And you load up the game, you come back to it, and your happiness is at thirty two percent and declining rapidly. Uh. Why? There's a bug in the game. Doesn't remember your happiness rating, so oh, it just plummets. Savage. Absolutely, and then, and then you are literally on the back foot trying to restore the damage that your save game has done. Yeah. Uh, and so it's at a point where if you start a, a mission, Ooh, play and complete well. the mission in one go, or you're going to have issues. I will say the game also does suffer from some optimization issues, where after a little while the game starts to stutter a little bit. Yeah, I was like, say, I, I have like good, I have good graphics card, a good. Good motherboard, good RAM. The computer, the game should be running totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. After a few hours, the game starts to struggle. You know, I don't know whether it's because the population limit is, you know, it's it's gone through, you know, a thousand people that it's trying to to process and simulate. <laughs> it's just one of those two boats around. Oh yeah, there's there's, there's there's so many there's collision issues everywhere where cars and boats just fly right through each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at him. I do love how well animated the game is. I love how graphically the game looks. I think it's the finest and best looking tropical game to date. You know, but that yeah. almost comes without saying every game usually improves upon its graphics on the next. Uh, but in terms of the game's interface, the the, the music, uh, the the level you know, the, the levels that they've created uh, and the fact that it is over multiple islands, you're having fun with roads here, you're not yeah. going to get that to connect. <laughs> no, it's no, not going no. to connect. Oh, fuck it, I'll go around the trees, not my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go around, keep my going. biggest complaint of the game is with building roads. Oh, you managed to build it, but it's still not going to connect. <laughs> no, not yet, will it? Well, yay! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's I need, horrible. I need that one to connect. That's so horrible. I need that one to connect, and I. Ah, uh, it's not going to connect. It's not going to. No. You're going to need to start demolishing the roads in order to rebuild the roads. Yeah, again. that's what I'm going to need to do. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, this is horrible. This is horrible. Yeah, it's like a little cul de sac. Like, he's like, oh, every public house is an island. <laughs> I, I, I do recommend um, Tropico as well. If you're into real-time strategy games where you micromanage the inside down to the Construction lives of people, man- management. Yeah, yeah. sim-type games. It's it's really good, and it looks really well. I mean, I haven't played this one, but like Gary said, it's got a few bugs, so be oh, careful. But they're fixing them. They're fixing them, but at the same time, there's games before this start with yep. tropical 3 you know yeah. work your way up so maybe you know the ones that i remember like i said the ones i saw on the xbox uh were fun yeah these ones just added in extra stuff it's then, more of the same yeah but yeah. there's extra stuff i mean no, i saw a fucking there's uh, rocket ship flying off at the beginning yes you know, yeah like, you can wow. launch um, launch uh, ships into space that that gives you the respect of everyone on your island or you can use it to make like twenty thousand dollars per launch um, yeah, there's you know there's so many more buildings in this game than any other Tropico before it, and that's not including this game's not had any DLC yet. Yeah. Almost every previous Tropico game has had DLCs which add extra buildings and things. Um, but what I like about this game is that when you're building, say, an apartment block, 
you know, you, you'd think every apartment block is just going to look the same. Yeah. There, there is almost uh, three or four variations of every building type that you can build. Nice. Which just means that when you're building, it, you know, say you want to build a whole street line of apartments, yeah. you could, if you want, make them all look exactly the same. Or you could hit an option which randomizes the build of every single one of them so that they all look slightly different to each other. Ah. Uh, so it depends whether you want a uniformed, you know, Tropico or whether it's going to look you know, I different. Need, I need to demolish that shit there. I can't have that <laughs> shit there. I need it gone. No, where's my demolisher? There it is. Demolish that. I can't demolish that. I can't get rid of that. Not letting you get rid of the No, that's what, he, that's what he just said. I can't build the bar there. So I don't know if it's... That yellow building? What's the yellow, the yellow building? Is that? Well, no, that is the grocery. That's the grocery store, but he wants the tavern right next door. Does it? Well, is it, no, is that on the grocery? He wants me to get rid of the grocery store and put the... Or does it want it to go next to it? Can you can spin the building if it won't fit there? Because obviously your your road system is there. Yeah, I'm going to turn the building yeah, that way. Well, no, turn it sideways so it's going along that road up there. Yeah, it can go there-ish. Yeah, but the, see the arrows. Okay, so I guess maybe it does want you to demolish it. I'm just going to put it there, fuck it. Uh, I think we're coming <laughs> to the end of it. <laughs> We could be here all day, Gary, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we yeah, could be here yeah. for six hours. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely, I, like I said, I, I definitely uh, recommend this game if yes, you're a fan, uh, fan of it. And uh, yeah, be an evil dictator or... Fun loving presidente. Definitely. <laughs> and so with that, I just want to say thanks for watching everyone. We'll be back next Friday with another video game. Of course, new film reviews on Thursdays. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Patreon. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.